you know, short memory as a defensive back and just, you know, get back out there? Yes, sir. I believe it is one of the weeks you have to have short memory. It is one of the weeks you have to have short memory. Have short memory during the game. So. What uh, what can you learn from matching up? I mean, you've obviously gone against great receivers in the past. It's nothing new for you. But, you know, what can you learn going up against, you know, some of the best receivers in the country? Uh, you learn a lot. I mean, like, it's just a different – it's a different speed when you go against them. Yeah, they way faster. They got better moves. And, I mean, it's just a good experience when you're playing against great receivers like that. So, Did you have that ball in the end zone? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Actually, they, I believe they cheated. They cheated bad, but they called it a tie ball and they go to the offense. But it was in my arm. He was, I was laying on the ground with it. He was trying to yank it off the top of me, but it is what it is. What Coach is so- trying to help you with? Uh, as that game went along and, and you know, trying to stop forward, what kind of adjustments did they tell me to make? Uh, just like uh, play inside leverage no matter what. And then, like, just a little tip, like, when they when he cut his split down, he going deep um, most of the time. And just like when he cut his split down inside, he going deep. And just play inside leverage no matter what. And if you're outside or inside, that's what happens. Just keep inside leverage on because all his right, let him be, try to beat you on the face instead of taking the middle of the field. Coach said that he you know, made the game plan to, to put you on fuller side. Is that a, something that you, you know, a role you relish? I mean, I, I mean, I like going against the top guys. I mean, it's a challenge. I mean, it's fun. I mean, you play against, that's how you want to get to the pros. You got to play against the top guys. So. It didn't look like on you know either of the two big passes that you know, one you had your arms on, the other you were right behind them. How do you make that just real narrow? Uh, how, how do you make up that half a second? Uh, probably I got to win up a lot more. You gotta win a lot more. Probably if I put more hands on him, give me a little better time. But yeah, I was. I mean, he posted when he caught. It was, that was a good ball. He put that right over his shoulder, right in his hand, and he could make a good play. And when the end zone, that was some bull. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he still, yeah, they gave it to him. But it's all right. What did the official tell you? Huh? What did the official tell you? Did he say anything to you? He, you... he ain't say nothing. He just put his hands up. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. Moving forward, what do you see from uh, Duke's offense? It looks like they like to run the ball. Uh, yeah, they do. So we got to stop the run, make the team one dimensional, like we always say. So if you stop the run, you make them pass. So, does that change your assignment a little bit? Like, what does a cornerback do when it's a run heavy offense? I mean, ours always pass first. Ours is because that's your DBs. But, I mean, we help out on the run if we have to. One defender will be running. But first thing, first is pass. But, so. You guys remember much about that Duke game last season? It was obviously a pretty high scoring one. Yeah, I remember something about it. I actually remember a lot about it. <laughs> Larry Sutton knew that game, so <laughs> every year I learned something new. Huh? But um, I mean, I'm ready. I just want to play. We go out here and play. We get three wins. That's what we need. And go on to our bowl game. Play that game. Well. We've been talking about the defense. Are you still trying to? Provide this team a spark uh, in the return game when you get your chances back there. Yeah, I mean, we, well, special teams is important in the game. Also, so we get a big return and help on help us out on defense and offense. So. What, what are you trying to do to, I guess, maybe break one of those? Is there anything specific you can yeah. you can work on? Or? I want to I want to score a touchdown, but I'm gonna turn, try to get an end zone this week if I can. Do you think the offenses target you because you're always shorter than some cornerbacks? Uh, yeah, probably so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they feel like they put their big guys out there and then they come in, but I don't really care. I don't even think about that. I play my game. Mm-hmm. Like, like you know, put the chip on your shoulder? <laughs> yeah. It's always been like that, but it's fun. It would make a game fun. That's what I like. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. First things first, what's the weather like in Honolulu? Uh-huh. It's beautiful right now, 75 <laughs> degrees. Man, I'm. Do <laughs> <laughs> you get home much? Last summer went on with last winter. It's going to be nice to go home in the winter, right? <laughs> <laughs>